Hey guys, welcome to the 90 Feet From Home YouTube channel. This is a bit of an introduction about the channel which will be debuting properly in March. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone who donated to the Go Get Funding fundraiser. It meant the world to me that you guys were willing to take a chance on this and I'm so happy to be able to bring you the proper product. Even if the first time I filmed this video, I did not have a battery in the new microphone. So that was super fun, but now I'm an old pro. So here we go. The entire purpose of this channel is to bring baseball to everyone. So the idea being that fans, new and old, kids, anyone who wants to learn about baseball can come to the channel and learn what all of the acronyms, all of the phrases, all of the weird little quirks and fun things that fans love about baseball can be explained better and just really breaking things down so anybody can understand it and get the most out of the game. I've had requests to do everything from the triple slash line to explaining standings and I'm gonna go through all of that one video at a time on this channel. Right now the plan is to post every Tuesday and Thursday, though I would love to expand and do three episodes a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see how that goes. I, I have lots of commitments to general writing, as well as my full-time day job, as well as being a novelist, so there is quite a lot taking up my time. That said, this is a really big deal to me and I really wanna bring you guys the best product possible polished, edited. I want to have fun things like social media things down here where I will remind you to subscribe and ring the bell. So hopefully if I figure things out by the time this video is posted, there will be fun little graphics there. I'd really like to be able to bring you guys clips so I can better demonstrate things like the infield fly rule, errors, and all the fun little quirky things that happen on a baseball field that I think everyone wants to know more about. With that in mind, it is a learning curve, and while I may be well versed in Photoshop, Adobe Elements is an entirely different creature, so bear with me as I get things fancied up. I do have somebody working on fun title music for you guys, which is probably not gonna be ready by the time the channel launches, but there will be fun things added as we go. So it's one step at a time, but really my goal is to bring you educational, fun, engaging baseball content that I don't think is currently available. And I just want everybody to feel welcomed into baseball. It's so much fun and it's a really interesting sport once you get to know it. And I just think there's a ton of information out there that is, is really deep with numbers and statistics and it can be really scary for new fans. So my goal here is to make it so you can look at a box score, read it top to bottom, when they talk about FIP, WIP, ERA, all those things, I want you guys to know and feel comfortable with the lingo. So my goal is really just to break down baseball one thing at a time. With the 90 Feet From Home YouTube channel, we will be featuring different kind of segments. Baseball basics will be the biggest one. That's where I will talk about stats, where I'll talk about rules, where I'll talk about everything that kind of makes up the game. But then I'll be doing things like 10 minute histories where I will talk about the history of every baseball team, all 30 of them and the ones that no longer exist. Sorry, Expos. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then we will be doing stuff like, you know, the insides of baseball, <laughs> literally. I'm really excited to do one where I show you guys what makes up the insides of an actual baseball. Um, there is a lot that goes into one, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm also doing a baseball road trip this summer and I'm gonna bring the camera along and hopefully show you guys kind of the insides of a stadium experience. We'll be doing Kansas City, St. Louis, Cincinnati, and Minneapolis. So I'm really excited to show you guys those stadiums. A couple of them I've already been to, but a couple of them are gonna be new to me. So those will be more vlog style, but I'm hoping to kind of give you a breakdown of what's great, the food, the options at different stadiums, and that sort of thing. So if that's a feature you'd be interested in seeing more of, let me know. I usually try to go to a couple stadiums a year, and I would love to feature more of them if that's something you guys would find engaging. With that in mind, this is a channel for you guys. I really want to be able to answer the questions to feature the interests that you have, and that comes down to you telling me what you want to hear more of. So, like I said, on Twitter, somebody mentioned standings, which wasn't something I'd even considered doing an episode on, but it's a great idea. So with that in mind, that's where the comments come in. So please take time down below in the comments and tell me if there's any specific statistics that you would like explained that you think would be a good feature for somebody new to baseball. I'm really taking to heart every single suggestion you guys make 
and that's how I know what content you guys want to see. So please uh, down below leave a comment. I will make a video for anything that I think is relevant and I'm really excited to see which suggestions you guys come up with um, because I know I probably wouldn't have thought of doing an XFIP video but definitely we're gonna do a FIP versus XFIP video going forward. And another thing I'd like to make note of is my pronunciation of things. Um, I will probably mention this several times per episode, but just so you know, there is no right or wrong way to pronounce these stats for the most part. I say ERA and FIP. They're both acronyms, but some of them are more fun to say as words. It's like saying NASA versus FBI. They're both acronyms for things, and I don't think that there is a right or wrong way. Some people might say FIP, I say FIP. Some people might say WOBA, I say WOBA because WOBA is fun to say. So if you don't like the way I pronounce it, that's totally fine. I'm not gonna force you to do it that way. And if you're new to it and you wanna say ERA instead of ERA, I don't actually recommend doing that because everybody says ERA. But <laughs> with that in mind, I don't think anybody is really gonna get mad at you if you say WHIP instead of WIP. As for who I am and what you know, gives me the right to talk about baseball. You know, I, I don't think that there is like a credential one can have that makes them more inclined to be able to talk about this sort of thing. I'm a huge baseball fan. In addition to that, I am a writer and editor for the SB Nation Tigers blog, Bless You Boys. I am the deputy editor of the SB Nation Tampa Bay Rays blog, D Rays Bay. And I'm the social media manager and writer for Bleed Cubby Blue, which is the SB Nation Cubs site. I've also been featured on Fangraphs as their resident writer for one month, and I have been featured several times in the Hardball Times. So I, I do know a bit about baseball. I'm by no means an expert. You know, I'm not out there running StatCast. I'm not going to be featured as the, like, you know, tech lingo guy on a broadcast anytime soon, but I do know baseball, and I do know how to make baseball accessible to people. So I, I hope you'll agree with that. <laughs> I hope you'll find this channel fun and engaging and I'm looking forward to a great first season with you guys and bringing you all of the inside baseball info that you want to see. So again, go down into the comments. Tell me, I guess that's really, they're not up here. They're down here. Go into the comments. Tell me what you'd like to see this season and I will do my best to make that become reality and I look forward to all of your suggestions. And again, you want to subscribe? ring that bell because we'll be starting out on a Tuesday Thursday schedule but that may change to Monday Wednesday Friday if things get into a good rhythm the episodes are all going to be about five to ten minutes a piece uh, you know ten minute history is kind of self-explanatory knowing me I like to talk those may end up being a little bit longer than ten minutes but we'll find out that's what you can look forward to this season I'm really looking forward to having you guys along for the ride um, you can find me here if I have figured out how to post social media links to the video and that's all we got for right now. So I'm looking forward to a great, great new experience with you guys and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Bye!